Right, well, thank you for the introduction. So I will present the last topic in this session, which is about outlier detection in the clinical course of the intensive care patients. So this project consists of uh, Robert L. Carey, my mentor, and myself. So uh, I'm a PhD student uh, here uh, at UCSD in computer science. Um, this is my summer project. And what is the initial idea behind this project? Well, so we have some clinical courses that are a bit unusual or outliers among others. So let me give you a simplified example of this. Um, so we have some patient's condition that might either improve with the given treatment or sometimes decline despite the treatment. And this is the common case, but sometimes uh, some patient's condition can maybe improve at first and then suddenly decline and then maybe improve again or not because the, the treatment is changing uh, at the end. So the point is those cases are outliers. And detecting outliers can be very beneficial to get a um, better understanding of the diversity of cases, the diversity of population. Um, it can be also very interesting to detect outliers. Um, if we have a robust model, we can detect these outliers during the course of treatment and therefore um, have an early detection of uh, issues during the treatment. And it is, it is also interesting uh, to identify all these cases, to review them for potential errors, which is um, the focus on our study here. Um, so to identify these cases, uh, for experts to review them. So the point here is that some of these cases might already be good candidates for review because the, maybe the patient unexpectedly died, uh, something like this. But a lot of these cases um, will never really be reviewed because there are so many cases out there. So our goal is to restrict the number of cases uh, to only the potentially most interesting one uh, because they are unusual, because there is some valuable information inside. Um, and so experts can review them to find, um, find errors maybe or find uh, because there's like some misdiagnosis of the patient or maybe just find a patient that has an unusual condition or unusual response to treatment and learn from that and uh, improve maybe future care of patients. Um, so we choose to focus on intensive care unit because mostly because there is a database available. Um, it's Mimic2, it's a very nice database because there is um, a very large number of patients and for each patient there is also a very large number of clinical features available that we can extract. So from this database, um, we, we build this project around three main steps. The first one would be to select a group, a group of patients with a similar condition so that we can get a homogeneous set of patients. And then um, try to, for each of these patients, try to uh, represent their evolution over time based on these clinical features from the database. And maybe try to find a sort of typical case, typical treatment um, that most patients fit in, but some of them don't, and those would be the outliers. So our approach to that, our first approach to that, was uh, first to choose the patients based on their DRG code. So this is a code attributed to each patient at the time of uh, hospitalization. Um, it's mostly for billing and uh, insurance purposes, but it, it can group the patient uh, with similar conditions. Uh, and then we applied a method that we found in the master's thesis from MIT that gives us a list of clinical features that are very relevant and gives uh, very good information about a patient's condition. And so we extracted, so we would extract this, this all these features at different points of time and then apply a clustering algorithm so that 
uh, we would get different, uh, a small number of patient states. And then um, each, each patient will have uh, a set of states. So as an example, so from these, these ideal cases that I, I presented at first, each one will be represented by a sequence of states, uh, a patient moving from one state to another. And um, hopefully the outliers would be represented by a very unusual sequence of states. And so to try to detect that, um, we, we want to analyze all these set of states and compare them. So either compare them as sequences using uh, algorithms such as dynamic time warping, for example, um, or we can also analyze them as a set of features by just counting the number of states, of different states for each patient, and then apply an outlier, outlier detection algorithm. So the point is to get a similarity index so that each uh, sequence of state, each patient, uh, would have an index that will tell how far it is from all the other index, and then uh, one patient with a very large distance to others would be an outlier. Um, so, so far, we, so we extracted the patients from the database using those DRG codes. Uh, we extracted all the, those, those clinical features for each one of them and applied a clustering algorithm to get a few patient states. We try to experiment also maybe with a uh, different number of states. Um, and then we apply some, some different methods that I, I was talking about to try to classify the, um, the outliers, try to get this similarity index I was talking about. Um, however, uh, we still need to get uh, all those patient cases to be reviewed uh, by clinicians probably to um, to label or partially label uh, the, the cases as being maybe outliers because of an error or not because of an error and not an outlier. Um, so so we, need, we need to get uh, our gold standard in order to uh, evaluate our preliminary results. And that would also open the door to maybe more algorithms uh, for supervised or semi-supervised learning. Um, so the current limitations of this method is that uh, the database has some missing data and a few wrong values that might affect the accuracy of the clustering algorithm. Also, clustering gives us discrete and symbolic values as opposed to a continuous numerical value, and this is not a very good fit for a lot of uh, algorithms for analysis. And Finally, uh, those states are, are theoretically very nice because we can say, okay, one state is patient is in good condition, another state is patient is in bad condition, and, and something like this. But it might not necessarily be the case. It might not be as accurate as this. Um, and so for the future, we, and we started to do that, is to, um, instead of clustering, maybe try to calculate an index from those clinical features. Um, this index could be based on uh, Apache 2 score or SOFA score, which are indexes uh, used in ICU to quantify the, sever the severity of an in illness. So they are used already, and um, so this is like an example of a SOFA score calculated uh, for each day for a few patients. And so we could plot some curves based on these scores and uh, try to analyze the shape of these curves to determine um, outliers and identify those cases. All right, so I would like to thank uh, my mentor and all the people who helped to support this project, and I will now uh, answer any questions that you might have.
Okay, so so you are asking about um, the uh, like so, so we we defined uh, this 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 different point of time of time for states. Uh, so we used an accuracy of one hour or thirty minutes, something like that. So uh, c can you repeat your second question? Sorry. Yeah, the first, first question yeah. Is, uh, the time yeah. 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 So. So, so it was around an hour, but we have still to experiment with different uh, time periods. Uh, and for the index calculation, for example, it was one day. Um, but we might we might decrease that maybe to uh, a few hours or something. Thanks, Vlad. It's about the hour line or the definition. And yeah, so. So. Right, right. So this is where we, we need maybe some um, expert review that will uh, try to help us identify what are the cases that have uh, a lot of very valuable information because uh, the treatment or something, something was not usual. Um, like the, the treatment, the treatment, the reaction to the treatment was not uh, the one expected for this particular condition or maybe uh, uh, Condition was not the one diagnosis uh, was not the one uh, from the first diagnosis, something like this. Okay. Thank you.